Cruise ship workers stranded on the high seas will finally be reunited with family members and loved ones, but not before they endure the mandatory 14 days of quarantine. After much dialogue and effort, the External Affairs Ministry, through the joint efforts of other departments, managed to repatriate 207 Carnival Glory and 12 Caribbean Princess employees who are expected home by the end of the week. The workers will disembark at Port Castries. We are very pleased that we are in a position to say that we have a total number of 219 uh, cruise ship workers who are now making their way to St. Lucia. They are on Carnival Cruise Lines, Carnival Glory, and we are expecting that these 219 St. Lucians will arrive here in St. Lucia on May 8th, on the evening of May 8th. So we are very pleased to provide this update. Uh, I'm sure families out there will be very, very relieved to hear that. Prime Minister Alan Chastney indicated that about 200 nationals could be repatriated at one time due to the capacity of the quarantine facilities. A total of 505 St. Lucians were trapped on the high seas. Tourism Minister Dominic Fede says the return of another batch of St. Lucians has been delayed due to the occupancy limits at the quarantine facilities. All of these individuals that are coming from uh, COVID hotspots, they were coming from the South Florida area in the United States. And so before we send them back safely to you, we want to just make sure that they are monitored for the two-week period uh, by the Ministry of Health officials uh, to be able to ensure that they have um, no, uh, no evidence of, of COVID-19. So uh, I think that we are extremely thrilled uh, to be making this announcement today. So individuals on Norwegian cruise lines, um, Disney cruise lines, Royal Caribbean cruise lines, those individuals are anticipated sometime around the 25th of May. Questions have been raised as to when other nationals will be given priority. The External Affairs Ministry is reportedly awaiting official word from the Chief Medical Officer. A lot of people who are saying, but what about uh, my son or daughter who is out there, not on a cruise ship, but out there nonetheless who wants to come home? As you know that our borders are not yet opened and um, of course we are guided by the chief medical officer in terms of everything we do to continue to keep St. Lucia safe. You would appreciate though that we had to absolutely prioritize those who were stuck on vessels on the high seas. So once we've been able to do that, of course, the process of evaluation, the command center is working really hard day in, day out, and we're evaluating every day. And once it is safe to do so, once the chief medical officer says that, I am sure that would be the next priority of our government. Upon disembarkation, returning nationals are alerted to the mandatory wearing of face masks, the immediate transportation to a government-operated quarantine facility where they will be housed for a period of 14 days, and screening and testing for COVID-19 during the quarantine period. The government is utilizing some 300 hotel rooms across five different hotels for the quarantine of the cruise ship workers. Gina Filippi, HTS News Force.